got in my tree and I was putting on my cam strap for my big camera arm and it broke. So tonight, I'm just gonna be hunting with the GoPro and my phone. It was torrential rain all morning and it's supposed to, well, it broke really clear and sunny. So hopefully it kept some deer bedded and they'll be up and moving now. It's still too warm for my liking, but it's still like 55 degrees, 60 degrees. It's the rut though, so anything can happen. I was holding for too long and I'm gonna low and back. I saw blood though. I saw blood. Whew, man, that happened fast. Oh, I have to give him some time. 347. I'll have to give him a couple hours. Oh man. And he was right here. What I got here is I got white hair and some blood. The white hair is on the off side of the trail that he was on. So that's the exit, which I knew was a low shot. Well, I've watched that video about four dozen times and I'm pretty sure the hit is better than I thought it was originally. The shot was spot on. I was at full draw for a long time. And I was second guessing whether I should have taken the shot or let down, but um, my release wasn't perfectly clean. I saw a little kick of the arrow, but the shot was spot on. Had that deer not moved at all, it would have been perfect. It would have been top of the heart. Well, it's first light, it's just after sunrise. I'm back in this hell swamp, trying to figure out this blood trail. Maybe a one, two acre barberry swampy patch. We're gonna try to work the perimeter of it. I just got a whistle. My pops is down here. He got him, he found him. He didn't go 100 yards past where we gave up last night. Oh man, I'm stoked. Oh, it's a big body deer, it's a nice buck. Oh man, coyotes didn't get him either. <laughs> Thank you. This trail pretty heavy. Let me go through yeah. here. Oh man. Thank you.